A spectator struck by a golf ball at the Ryder Cup said she has lost the sight in her right eye and is planning to sue organizers. Corinne Remond, 49, had traveled to France from Egypt with her husband Raphael to watch the biennial showdown between Europe and the United States, held at Le Golf National Club in Saint Quentin en Yvelines just outside Paris. But the avid golf fan's holiday ended abruptly when a tee shot from American Brooks Kopka veered left, landed among a crowd of spectators on the sixth hole and hit her in the right eye. US Open champion Kopka swiftly apologized to Remond following the incident. Remond, however, has said she plans to seek legal action, claiming there was no warning from officials before the ball hurtled into the gallery. She said scans had revealed the fracture of the right socket and the explosion of the eyeball. Quite clearly, there is responsibility on the part of the organizers, Remen told AFP as she left the Croix Rousse Hospital in Lyon. Officials did not shout any warning as the player's ball went into the crowd. Remen admitted she appreciated the gesture from the golfer. I tried to stay positive with him so that he didn't lose his concentration," she said. But once I was taken away, I didn't hear anything from the organizers. Remond is set to consult a lawyer on Tuesday with a view to seeking damages. More than anything, I want them to take care of all the medical bills to make sure there is no risk of infection," she said. Remen received first aid on the spot before being transferred to a specialist eye hospital in Paris. She was then driven to her parents' home in Lyon after doctors advised her not to fly immediately back to Egypt. Scans on her eye revealed the fracture of the right socket and the explosion of the eyeball, which, she said, surgeons managed to sew back together. She explained, however they told me I'd lost the sight in my right eye, and this was what was confirmed to me today, Monday. Her husband said, in the best case scenario, she may be able to see shapes after the bruising eases in a month or so. Contacted by AFP via email, the EPGA the body which governs European Gulf said it will investigate the incident, which could take some time.